Zer's in the hangar in the tower. He is currently selling the Season of Dawn armor set. This is really good specifically for the Warlocks. I really love the boots, the helmet, and that's really it. <laughs> Honestly, I think the boots and the helmet are probably the best pieces. Uh, the chest piece for the Warlock is a little too barren, I guess you would say. And the arms are just kind of boring. And the bond is just kind of like whatever, to be quite honest. As for the gear, let's look at the Righteous Gloves with... This is actually a really good roll. One's on pieces you actually care about. So resilience, you're getting one. Recovery, you're getting one. Discipline, you're getting one. So at that point, I would probably bump up the recovery a little bit higher or the resilience, depending on which one I need the most. Because even, even intellect, you're going to be getting a one as well once you masterwork this, obviously. So arms are actually pretty good. Uh, this one, however, not really good. I don't like, I don't like to see 10 on mobility. Like I, I hate it on Warlock and Titan. So for me, I'd probably just ignore this one. Uh, also ignore this one. And uh, this one, it, this one could be a really good grenade, uh, option because discipline is already really high. So you could bump it up to recovery to 23 or just go all hand with discipline and bump it up to a 34. Either way, it's pretty good. But yeah, let me know what you got. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking this up. This is really good. I at least recommend the boots and the helmet because those two are really good. As for the Titans, I would probably recommend the boots, the mark, the chest piece, and maybe the arms. The arms are actually pretty good. So all of those, the helmet is the only piece that I think is pretty lacking. But as for the armor pieces, uh, mm, these aren't bad. If you don't have anything better, this, these aren't terrible. Like they could be better. But I would probably bump up the resilience so that way I can have a 16 on resilience and then everything else is fine. For the chest piece, I would probably just bump up the, the resilience a lot or just go all in with recovery. Either way, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Again, if you don't have better pieces, just pick them up because these two are these two are really good. Um, helmet, however, I could ignore this, like easily ignore it. And the boots, I'm going to avoid like the plague because 20 mobility is like just not not it so yeah i i think the titans have really good pieces uh i think again the boots uh the mark the chest piece even the arms are really good the helmet has its place it's just for me it just looks way too small as for the hunters i think the helmet the boots uh pretty much all the pieces from this set are bangers uh let's look at the boots boots are really good for a like night look helmet is also good for a night look just be aware that the slits on the eyes do not glow like the ornaments but that still looks cool nonetheless the the cloak looks really cool and yeah i i, I think like hunters really got the best pieces from the seasonal activity because they're still very usable uh as for the armor sets themselves the arms are pretty forgettable uh the mm, the chest piece is pretty good uh because you can go either way you can go uh resilience to 22 and then at mo mobility will probably be like an 18 probably it will be an 18 once you master work it which is pretty good or you can just go all in with mobility because having a one in resilience is still nice but I would probably pick this up if I didn't have something better. Uh, this one is pretty decent as well. I probably would bump up the recovery so I can have a one on each or just go in with mobility. So that way I can have a, a 20 on mobility and a 20 on discipline. That'd be pretty nice. And this one's pretty average. I probably would not pick this up. As for the weapons, let's look at the Cryosura Mellow, Force Times the Charm and Dragonfly. Does it have other perks? Because if it doesn't, no. Okay, I'd probably ignore this one. Um, GN GN rifle GN seven rifle. Uh, auto wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has full auto trigger system and outlaw. It's a good. It's a it's a good like uh, arc weapon if you don't do the raid because the raid has the best arc uh, pulse. Yeah, farewell with moving target and, and multi kill clip, which. Could be nice. I'm just not the biggest fan of sidearms. Empty vessel, underdog, and multi multi kill clip. I'm not a fan of multi kill clip on our grenade launcher personally. Uh, first in, last out. Auto loading holster and eye of the storm. If this had auto loading and vorpal, I think it is. This would have been really nice. Unfortunate. Uh, Temptations hook, relentless strikes, and surrounded. I'm not even gonna look at that. Nine hunger and uh, it has Zen moment and wait. 
900 yeah that's what i said zen moment and demolitionist this is a really good demolition demolitionist uh weapon at least i think so the one i have is pretty nice so i probably j would say nine hunger just because nine hunger or whatever role you have is going to be nasty and for the exotics we're looking at eye of the storm for hawk moon which is nice uh, Dead Man's Tale with Outlaw, which I probably would ignore. And then for the other exotics, you have the Colony, which is a really no annoying grenade launcher in PvP. Gwyn's Invest, which is one of my favorite looks for the exot for this chess piece, but I just think it the chess piece itself is pretty garbage. The Insurmountable Skull Fort, which is really nice. Actually, I don't even see uh stats are pretty pretty meh. Same thing for actually resilience at 20 is pretty nice, but Recovery at 7 is pretty not nice. And then Skull of Dire Ahamkara, which, man, these, these are pretty terrible rolled uh, exotics. So let's look at what I actually get. And they're probably going to get something I fucking don't want. I knew it. I fucking knew it, bro. I always get some shit I don't want. <sighs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Which armor sets are you guys going to be picking up? Are you guys going to be picking up individual pieces? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, my arm is getting better for those of you who are actually concerned and give a shit about me as a person <laughs> My arm is getting better. I woke up today and the pain has lessened by a lot uh, Hopefully by the end of the weekend my arm is completely good because I have a lot of content that I've been wanting to post But I can't because my arm hurts and I can't edit that long Also, I put this long explanation so we can see what exotic or the role that I got Oh this isn't terrible, like actually not terrible. I, I, I'm i not that mad about it, but I probably won't be using it. I've also got a lot of full footage from Iron Banner, like a ridiculous amount. I've been playing a lot because the new game mode's fun. I'm going to have a review for it soon and we'll be talking about it because I think it's a lot of fun, but we'll be... Actually, yeah, let me give you a, a, a little a little guide of or not guide, but a little like preview of what, I, what we're going to be talking about. So this video will be going first, which means you guys will see the, this armor set and the Titans and the Warlocks. I have made an armor set for the Scarlet Semblance shader. We're going to be looking at shaders. So if you guys ever want to see a shader, if you ever want to see me make an armor set from just a shader, let me know because that's what we're going to start doing. But also, we're going to be looking at the new game mode for Iron Banner. We're going to be talking about a few things for Iron Banner as well. Some important things, I think, that are important, I should say. Uh, and we're going to be returning to the exotic uh, previews because I have been not slacking because my arm is fucked up. But we will get back to it. So if you actually do want to see an exotic or you did say an exotic, uh, just post it right now. Let me know which exotic it is because... I do have the list, but I'm still like not 100% sure that it's all of them. So if you want to post it again and just to remind me, that'd be amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. Thank you all for the amazing support you guys have been showing me and I'll see you guys later.